Hello YouTube. Uh, today I'm going to show you um, kind of how a map is different than a globe um, for obvious reasons. Um, you know a map is two-dimensional whereas a globe is three-dimensional. So a map does not fully um, show countries to their correct size. Um, and you know just a quick example, I'm, sh I'm sure you know this, but if we look at something like Kansas, um, as we would go farther north, um, this website shows what it would look like if Kansas were, you know, higher up or lower down kind of in the world. So as we would move Kansas up, it gets larger and larger um, because, you know, a globe gets smaller and smaller at the top, whereas a map is the same size. So as we move Kansas up, it moves um, kind of diagonally here. You can see it's not a straight line anymore. And it also gets larger and larger. Um, so that's kind of what this website shows. Um, it's called the true size of dot dot dot. Um, I highly recommend it. It's quite cool. But as you can see here, you know, Kansas gets more and more um, elongated and wide um, as you go higher up. But I will show you a few of the countries that I found most interesting. Okay, uh, to start, we will look at Russia. Um, now, as you all probably know, Russia is uh, by far the largest country in the world. Um, it is almost double um, the size of countries like China. But as you can see on a map, it looks like it's probably maybe four times larger than China. Whereas when you look at it at its actual scale, um, when we move Russia down to what it would look like if it was where China was on the globe, you can see it actually starts to look a lot closer in size. Um, again, Russia is still larger, but it definitely looks smaller. Um, and if we move Ru uh, Russia into Africa, we can see, um, you know, it definitely is big, but it, you know, it's only a little bit more bigger than uh, North Africa. And then finally, if we look at Russia at the United States, um, it is definitely bigger, um, but it is just not quite as big as you might have thought before. Next, we will look at Greenland. Um, Greenland is probably the most famous example of the country or territory that looks most different on a map versus a globe. But I will just show you in case you have never seen it before. Um, if we move Greenland um, to what it would look like if it was in the United States, you can see it almost um, fits inside of the United States. It really is much smaller um, than you might think. Um, and if we bring it down to Brazil, um, you see it actually could fit inside of Brazil right here. Um, so, you know, up the equator where um, things are at their true size, um, it really isn't quite that big. Now, it still is large, but it's just not quite as big as you might have thought. And if you bring it into something like India, um, it almost fits exactly um, right into India. Whereas, you know, when you look at Greenland over here, um, you can see the difference of what Greenland looks like near the equator versus away from the equator. Speaking of India, let's look at India specifically. Um, many of you might know that India is the second most populous country in the world, getting close to China, but it's always considered, you know, a lot smaller um, than China, which it is. But um, I think some people underestimate how big India actually is. Um, if we zoom in, um, you kind of get more of a feel for how big India is. Um, if we move India up into Europe, you really start to see, you know, how big India actually is. Um, when you know when placed in the middle of Europe, it goes Italy um, all the way up into the Scandinavian countries and into Russia. Um, if we put India into the United States, you know, starting at Texas, um, it goes all the way into Canada, you know, almost touches Maine. It really is quite large. And then if we bring that up into Canada, you can see it um, pretty much goes from the United States past Alaska. So India really is bigger than you might have thought. Another one that I find interesting is Argentina. Um, now that could be just because I'm north of the equator, so I don't really know Argentina. But to me, I was surprised at how big Argentina actually is. If we move them up to the United States, um, you'll see that Argentina um, basically goes from Texas all the way up to Hudson Bay, um, which was definitely larger than I expected. And then if you put it into Canada, you know, it goes from the beginning of Canada all the way up basically to the North Pole. So it really is, you know, quite large, maybe a little bit taller than you might have expected. If we put it into Europe, you can see that it goes basically from the bottom of Greece all the way up to the top of Scandinavia. So that's just another one that I was kind of surprised by. Next, I want to look at DRC or the Democratic Republic of Congo. 
Um, this one is probably the most interesting outside of Greenland, just because it's probably bigger than you expected. Um, if, if we compare it to something like Algeria, it's really not that impressive. It kind of fits inside, not too surprising. If we bring it into Brazil, you know, it fits comfortably, really not that special. However, if we move it up to the United States, it really starts to show how big it actually is. As you can see, it basically goes all the way from Louisiana to Canada. Um, it really is probably bigger than you thought. I was surprised by the size. And if we move it up to between the United States and Alaska, you see it actually touches all the way from United States to Alaska. If we move it over to Europe, we can see that it goes all the way from the bottom of Italy to the top of Germany, and it almost completely, actually probably does completely cover the Scandinavian countries. Another interesting one is Germany, um, which you probably think of as quite large because you usually see it just in reference to Europe where it is quite large. However, if we move Germany into where it would actually look like if it were in Africa, you see really how actually it isn't that large. If you put it in the Democratic Republic of Congo, it's really, you know, just a small fraction of the size. If we move it up to the United States, we'll see that it really doesn't grow that much larger. If we put it in reference to Texas, for example, we see that it kind of just snugly fits inside of there. I personally thought it was larger than Texas, so this was a bit of a surprise to me. And then if you bring it down to Peru, the one that surprised me the most was it really just kind of barely, you know, it fits inside of here. It really is just a small fraction of it. I looked it up. It actually is just 28% of the size of Peru. So roughly four Germanys could fit inside of Peru. Also of interest is Indonesia which is likely larger than you think. Um, I believe most people forget about this left part of Indonesia, and just kind of because it's away from the rest of the world, there's no real land near it, I think people forget how big it actually is. If we compare it to Australia, which is just south of Indonesia, we can see that Indonesia is actually farther from um, east to west than Australia. And the same actually holds true for China, which is the um, third largest country in the world. Um, we can see that Indonesia from right to left is also bigger than China. The same holds true for the United States. Um, I don't think people usually see what Indonesia looks like in compared to the United States, but as we can see when we put it on the United States, Indonesia is actually um, longer than the United States. Um, and this continues as we move upwards into Alaska. Indonesia, no matter what we do, is actually wider than Canada. And this kind of continues all the way up through Canada. So even when we're looking at, you know, Alaska, where we think, you know, Canada is at its widest, Indonesia is still wider than Canada. As shown by Germany, I think Peru is another country that people often underestimate just how big it is. Um, when moved up above the equator to Mexico, you can see that Peru is actually of similar size whereas I believe most people think that Peru is significantly smaller than Mexico. If we move it up to the United States, we can see that it goes down from Mexico, or yeah, from Mexico all the way through the United States up to Canada, which is, you know, really quite large. Um, and then if we put it from the United States to Alaska, you can see that it actually can touch Alaska from the United States. Now, if we move over to Europe, we can see that it is also quite large over there. Um, if we put it from Italy um, to, you know, the United Kingdom or Italy to Sweden, it really does fit a large portion of Europe. However, if we move it down to Africa, it is less impressive. Um, if we move it back down to that Congo example, we can see that it actually kind of uh, almost fits snugly inside. So it really is about perspective. Lastly, I uh, just wanted to show you Antarctica. Um, I think with a map, people really have no idea how big it is. Um, and I actually think because of that, I underestimated how big it is. But it really is actually quite large. Um, even when compared to you know continents like uh, um, Africa, it still fits a large portion of it. You know, if you compare it to South America, it's nearly the size of the upper half. You know, in the United States, um, it really is. You know, totally engulfs. You know, the United States all the way up into Canada. Um, I think it really is kind of, um, you know, forgotten about. Nobody really knows what the land and the terrain is. Um, you know, we put it over here into China. Um, you can really just see how big um, Antarctica actually is. Um, but yeah, 
that wraps it up for this video. Um, I hope you enjoyed and um, have a great day.